So I study the physics of failure. Uh, in particular, we look at buckling and thin shells and try to figure out what properties of a material determine buckling. Our, our, our final objective is kind of to come up with a, an easy way to probe a system without knowing anything about that system and having it be completely random. So like if you take a Coca-Cola can that's been thrown around all over the place and you have no idea what's, you know, what the history of that can is and try and figure out what its maximal load could be. And that's, that's very useful for rocket ships, for NASA in particular. Uh, they really want to know when, when their rocket ships will fail. <laughs> uh, so we're hoping to answer this age old, decades old question. When will a rocket ship fail? Beyond NASA, it's extremely important to really every realm of industrial design. So when, when, when we create products, when we create anything really in an industrial sense, we, we put limits, stress limits that we can use on that product before it will break. And usually these limits we put are extremely conservative. We try very hard not to risk getting too close to the limit so that the product never breaks. But the reason why they're so conservative is really because we don't often know the actual limit of the materials. And so if we can get a better idea of when the actual limits are for each specific uh, substance or product, we can make less conservative design elements that save money or more efficient and for the future particularly, that's, that's incredibly important.